What's going on folks? Adam here with Free to Prowl. I'm out here in Montana and I'm getting ready for rifle season. I got two tags to fill and I'm ready to check my rifle. So I want to tell you guys why I use a phone scope paired with my iPhone and a spotting scope to check the zero on my rifle. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. We love bringing you guys on our outdoor adventures, fishing, hunting, truck camping, wild game cooking, public land, public access, thanking our vets along the way. Hit that subscribe button. Come along. And without further ado, let's get to getting. First off, what is a phone scope? Uh, it's simply a plastic case with an adapter and a eyepiece uh, cup that your phone goes in, your iPhone, your Android, whatever, whichever you want. They make them for a bunch of different um, models. You just have to go on their website and figure out your model and then figure out what kind of eyepiece you have based on the spotting scope. So once you have these units, they simply, it slides on the eyepiece and you can uh, get cool video. Um, your camera lines up perfectly with the reticle. I know we probably have all tried to do the thing where you you find something cool out there, you try and line up your phone. Well, this thing lines it up perfectly every time. You can use your focus on your um, spotting scope. You can reach out there and look at stuff. Um, like I said, I'm gonna explain kind of how and why I use it to sight my rifle in, but. They're super handy for if you're hunting and you want to get some footage of animals or you want to get see what kind of quality of an animal is out there. Maybe show your buddies a picture of a giant elk you saw uh, or perhaps you want to get footage of a shot, right? You can use that and simply use your phone. Most of us have our phones with us while we're hunting for Onyx, for taking pictures, texting, blah, 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 whatever. Um, so you can use it as a camera once you have this set up, but it's all you're gonna need to sight your rifle in and use this system and not have to move or anything uh, to go check where your shots are at is some type of spotting scope, a phone scope, like I said, a phone or something that fits on there um, that can you can see a digital image, a tripod, and then obviously your rifle, um, and a safe place to shoot. So we're out here on some public land, uh, can shoot, have an awesome backdrop and awesome scenery actually too so um, but we're gonna get the target out I got to shoot a couple times with this rifle I just want to pull the zero in it's the first time I've shot it this year coming from Wisconsin uh, I want to make sure I'm, I'm dialed in and uh, then we'll back up to 300 and you guys can really see how this system works at 300 yards and I'm not walking down the range I'm not driving down the range I'm not trying to you know figure out exactly where I'm hitting I can just use this setup and record it at the same time. So let's hit the range and we'll check this out. Out here we got the target set up at 300. Got the phone scope, my iPhone on the Vortex Diamondback. I think this is the 60, um, the smaller of the two spotting scopes, but the nice part is you can use the zoom, the digital zoom on your phone uh, to get a little bit more zoomed in um, based on the image once you put the phone scope on there. We got her set up, we'll hit record and we'll uh, send some shots down range and you guys can kind of see um, why I think this system is handy. So um, like I said, if you're by yourself, one person, I mean this is the handiest way to sight in a rifle. Um, you know, I, you're going to see some other marks in there. I had to get it zeroed in for the elevation coming from Wisconsin, being up here at like 6,000 feet. So I had to make a couple adjustments there. Plus, it's the first time I've shot it this year. So um, you'll see a couple other marks on there from 200. Step back to 300 and just more practice shots and then show you guys exactly what we're working with here. But here we go. <clears throat>
All right, so I can see at 300, I pulled it to the right, uh, probably about six to eight inches. That circle's only about, uh, I don't know, maybe a six inch circle. So um, it's about twice the distance away from the circle. So you could probably uh, touch her back the opposite direction a little bit with our windage. Other than that, should be good. The height is good, just left and right's a little off. As you can see, my kind of my original shots, a lot of them are left anyway, so. Let's give her one more. Perfect. So I just walked her in one more time um, with my right left and just hit the outside of that circle. So the phone scope's awesome. Like I said, I can sit here by myself 300 yards away, dial my rifle in on a six inch target. If you guys have one and you're not using it to sight your rifles in, there's none of this driving back and forth, walking up and down. Um, just use it. Use it. You can see kind of what you're doing, what your progressions are. You can record stuff. Obviously, they're very handy for the hunting side of it, but they are awesome for sighting your rifle in as well. So definitely give this a try uh, next time you guys are out and you need to sight your rifles in um, or you just want to record some shooting. So hope this helps. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Free to Prowl. As mentioned before, we love anything outdoors. So please hit that subscribe button. Catch us on another one. As always, don't forget you are free to prowl, and please thank a vet for their service. It's the reason we have the freedoms we have, like the Second Amendment. Catch you on the next one. Dunk.